Okay, let's go over the gold trade, this last gold setup. All right, so this morning, uh, at 8.20 this morning, I said we have a nice sell zone up here at the 87, 87 and a half level. Okay, earlier in the morning, we had trend down. Remember, the, the, the first thing we do is we look at our trend filler. Our trend filler is this magenta moving average. Now, we don't use moving averages for support and resistance. They're lagging in nature, but we use them for trend direction. So we can see the trend was down. So the easy way to look at potential setups on this system with this indicator is looking at the big red solid line, the big blue solid line, and the big green solid line. That will dictate where order flow is based upon this big blue line is the most volume that's traded in any instrument that you are trading. That indicator, this indicator, um, will show that this is the most volume that has been traded in that particular instrument. That blue line creates major support and resistance. So trend was down. The best way to trade that uh, these 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 levels are you can look for a break retest of that blue line, which we had several trades off of it this morning. Break retest. There's one. Break retest. There's one. And then if the trend's down, I said we had a sell zone between 87 to 87 and a half. How did I, why did I uh, project that 87 to 87 and a half as a potential sell zone? Well, because I noticed that when we first logged in, our trend filter is down. So if our trend filter is down, it tells us we're going to sell retracements with trend. So we can take a break retest. So here's our trend filter. It's down. So we can sell a break retest of market profile, break, retest, there's a short, retest on the second test, there's a short. But then up here was HVA, and it had not been tested yet. We did not test HVA, and you can see this little blue dots. It just overlapped it a second ago because your HVA is actually 87. The blue dots of the control point was 87 and a half. So, but... Your solid level right here at 87 and a half, right here, 87, 87 and a half is a sell zone. So I marked up this little blue box. So when we're down here at, at this level, we were down here after this morning. We we're down here at the control point. I said, there's your sell zone between 87 to 87 and a half. Here's your sell zone. Why did I say that would be a potential sell? And we had a huge move in the market. It caught the top. My market profiles caught the top from 87.5 down to below 76, over a $1,000 trade potential with $130 maximum risk on the trade for a runner. <clears throat> but if you look, <clears throat> excuse me, I had volume profiles the most important. That's that solid line. And it showed 87.5 to 87 to 87 and a half was resistance. The three, the three profiles that you want to see stacked over top of each other are three, three levels. The solid levels are your most important to trade off of. It's caught this retracement, this retracement. It just caught this big move over a thousand dollar potential move on one per one contract, risking $130 max. So that's over a 10 to one reward to risk that just happened right here at this sell zone. Why did it retrace from there? Because we have what's called a brick wall. <clears throat> what it is, we have volume profile are these solid red, solid blue, solid green levels. They create major support and resistance in the market. It's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is the internals of the market. So what it, what it showed was that when we're up here at 85, it showed triple resistance up here, stack level. I had volume profile at 87 at the time. My control point, you can see it over here, these small blue dots that overlapped it. That gave two times stack level. And then look over here on my white chart. My developing profile was 87 and a half also. That's three times stack level, Leo. See that? Three times level stack, and they were all within a few ticks of each other. That creates what's called a brick wall for price to repel from. So when we got into that level of 87, 87 and a half, if you look, 87, 87 and a half, we got into that. And right there was your negative market delta. 
Negative market delta was 242. 242, look at the great chart. That's a major sell imbalance. Anything over 50 on gold is major. Your stop loss is two ticks above, above the swing high in case we are wrong on the trade. And so your stop was a $130 stop. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Your fill was 87. 87. Your high was 87.80, 87.80 2 is 88. So you had actually a 10 tick stop on this if you had no slippage on it. If you had a two tick slippage, your stop would have been max right around 12 to 13 ticks on the trade. 12 to 13 ticks on the trade. You can see market delta was red sell all the way down. You sell half your position on the first push and then let the runners run. All right, so this is what's called a stack level. If you go to daytradingthefutures.com, read that 135 plus page PDF. I have tons of examples. Or you play all those videos we have. We have we have hundreds of videos on there on the same video, same setup. And that's a stack level right there. That's why that was a major top. And it was all projected right there before it happened way before it happened. You come up into the sell zone, volume profile, overlap price profile, which overlap developing profile. That's called a brick wall in the market. Nice trade setup. Gerald, go to gold, I mean crude. Go to crude oil. On crude oil, we had the same thing. If you look on crude oil, I said this morning, we got major support here at 73. 72, 73, 74. Why did I say there's major support right there? Before the market bounced, the market was trading right here at this level, right there at that level. Before the market bounced, that's a major brick wall down here. We have a brick wall. Why? I had my volume profile. Now, now the trend filter's up. You see the trend filter's up? So you can buy LVA instead of selling HVA. Look at them beside each other. They're totally opposite. Here on gold, the trend filter was down, right? The magenta MA was down. Sell HVA right here, sell HVA. Sell high value area right there, right? Sell high value area, trend filter down, sell high value. Here the trend filter is up. I said we have major support, buy, now you buy low value. Now look at the volume profile, the LVA stack over top of the price profile. And it also stacked over top my what? My developing profile right here. See my developing profile, 75. So I had three times stack level also right at that level. So now check this out. That was your buy point on crude because it was three times stack. And here was your sell point on gold because it was three times stack. Now you know why I call them brick walls. Very, very big support and resistance. Gold was in a downtrend, so you sell the retracement, and crude was in an uptrend, so you buy the retracement at a stack level. Both were three times stack because they had my volume profile, LVA, here on crude, my side of line. If you look at my small green dots, that's my price profile, stack right on top. And then it had my developing profile, which was green. Three times area stack. Where gold, if you look at the gold trade setup, if I bring it over, if I look at gold, I had my HVA stack on top of the control point on top of my developing off the white chart. That was three times area stack, which is a brick wall also. So they were the exact same setup. One was just a sell. One was just a buy. But you can see how all three profiles came together at the same price point in time to create a major brick wall. Okay? If those profiles stack over top of each other, you're good to go. Now, I did mark up a symmetrical wedge, a two-day wedge on this chart. So when the trend line on these wedges hit over top profile, you have what's called a confluence level also. It was just a real nice area. Now, the next level on crude to watch is we got to break through this symmetrical wedge. 
We break through the symmetrical wedge. It's near the apex right now. We'll look for a natural rotation down. If it breaks to the low, because wedges are usually continuations of trend, we've been a downtrend for about four days. There's a rotation back up. That would be your next big inflection point, possibly on crude, with crude oil inventories coming out here in about 20 minutes.